and welcome to Panther News Network. Today is Thursday, November 21st. I'm Ja'Kayla Edmondson. I'm Faith Herring. And I'm Ronald Savage Jr. According to Oakland Zoo spokesperson Aaron Harrison, a child repeatedly hit a rock against the zoo glass bare enclosure, causing cracks all over the laminate layer. A replacement glass pane will cost $67,000 and require special equipment for installation next month. Harrison said in a shocking image shared by the Oakland Zoo, a bear can be seen staring through the broken glass. A sign attached to the pane reads, uh-oh, yes, the glass is cracked, but it's still strong enough to withstand the strength of our bears, two inches thick and several hundred pounds. The glass is made of several layers and is designed to splinter, not shatter. We'll be replacing it soon. France is returning a historically stolen sword back to Senegal. The sword was stolen from West African ruler Omar Saïdou Ta by the French after his death in 1864. French Prime Minister Edouard Philippe returned the sword to Senegal President Macky Sall in a ceremony this past Sunday in Dakar, Senegal. Philippe states this is the first step in a project that aims to return West African artifacts that are in French museums. Currently, there are 90,000 artifacts in French museums. The project is the result of a a commission report by French President Emmanuel Macron in November 2018. The Odessa Community Foundation has raised over $1 million in the last three months for victims of the August 31st mass shooting. Martha Brom chairs the task force responsible for deciding how that money will be dispersed. She says it will go to the victims and their families. A lump sum will be distributed to the estates of those killed in the shooting. Those injured will receive an amount based on the criteria the chamber is currently putting together. The money will be given out mid-January. We'll be back after this commercial break. Traditions are not made overnight. They are created through a legacy of excellence and a commitment to something much greater. For more than 135 years, Prairie View A&M University has provided students with a strong academic foundation, a unique college experience, and the opportunity to make their mark on the world. This is a place where friendships are formed, discoveries are made, and dreams are realized. This is Prairie View A&M University. Our tradition, your opportunity. Welcome back. An officer with the Arcola Police Department has been arrested and charged with sexual assault and an official oppression. Officer Hector Aaron Ruiz was arrested Wednesday after a woman submitted a complaint about him. The woman reported earlier this month that Ruiz allegedly stopped her vehicle earlier this month before first forcing her to engage in a sexual act while he was on duty. The utter violation of public trust that these allegations represent is heinous and disgraceful, said Fort Bend County District Attorney Brian Middleton. My office will prosecute these criminal offenses to the fullest extent possible under the law, Middleton also stated. A contested Houston City race is getting pulled off the December 14th runoff ballot. This is because of a lawsuit that argues a candidate with a felony is ineligible to run. The Harris County Clerk's Office is removing, removing the District B race from the runoff ballot. The two candidates in the runoff were Tasha Jackson and Cynthia Bailey. The third candidate, Renee Jefferson Smith, is asking the court to order a new election and de declare Bra Bailey ineligible to hold office. Back in 2007, Bailey was convicted of theft and sentenced to 10 years in prison. Douglas Ray with the Harris County Attorney's Office says it's common for people to change an opponent's eligibility, but not at this point. Ray says a special election for District B could be held January 28th when runoffs are already, already scheduled for three state house seats. But that depends on when a judge reaches a decision. A former Baltimore mayor is being accused of fraud. Catherine Pugh is accused of using the sales from her children's book series, Healthy Holly, to fund her personal life and political campaign after claiming that the profits were going to a nonprofit health care company. Pugh is facing multiple counts of wire fraud, conspiracy to defraud the United States, and tax evasion. Pugh resigned her position as mayor back in May following reports that customers had never received their copies of Healthy Holly. 
She is currently under a self-imposed seclusion in her home. For 35 students enrolled in Marketing 3113, Sports Event and Entertainment Marketing at Prairie View a and University, the value of lessons they are learning from entertainment manager Matthew Knowles is priceless. Knowles, who you may know as the father of Beyonce, is the founder, president, and chief executive officer of Houston-based Music World Entertainment, which he founded in 1991. This semester, he's been sharing with students not only the ins and outs of running a record label, but also advice on touring and event management. I don't teach out of a book, and I don't mean to be an Eric. I don't mean to be mean this in an arrogant way, but I am the book because what I teach, I have to live it every day. Said Knowles, who earned an MBA and a PhD in Business Administration from Cornerstone Christian University. He says, entertainment is ever-changing, but one thing that hasn't changed is the need for critical thinkers in the business world. My number one topic is critical thinking because it's about solving a problem, he said. In real world, that is what you are doing most of the time, solving problems. As of today, Prairie View a and University has been recognized as a top-ranking institution institution offering the best online MBA degree programs by Intelligent.com. Intelligent.com analyzed 356 different programs on a scale of 0 to 100. After determining 50 of the top ranked programs, Prairie View was ranked at number 8 under the College of Business. Each program was evaluated based on curriculum quality, graduation rate, reputation, and postgraduate employment. The 2020 rankings were calculated through a unique scoring system, which includes student engagement, potential return of investment, and leading third-party evaluations. Keep up the amazing work, College of Business. The Miss Prairie View A&M University Scholarship Pageant is now accepting applications. To apply for the pageant, applicants must submit the official application, a headshot, an unofficial transcript, three letters of recommendation, a copy of their spring course schedule, and a copy of their employment schedule if, appli if applicable. The entrance fee is $300 and is non-refundable. All applications must be submitted to the Office of Student Engagement in room 221 in the MSC by December 6. For more information, visit www.pvamu slash student engagement slash miss pvamu slash application. We'll be back with more news after this break. Hey, this is Cheryl Lee Ralph, and I'm really, really happy to be a part of this project because you see HBCUs, historically black colleges and universities are very, very important. See, the way I see it, all of this, all of this magic that I see right here on this campus, this is about as close as 40 acres and a mule that some of us are gonna get. And I tend to hold on to the ones that I see right now. The camera goes in front of you and you gotta transform. And you have to relate, you have to be relatable. Yeah. That's the only reason it works in, in uh, the Marvel Cinematic Universe and in Mudbat, you know, it's it's all about the relatability. Exactly. Welcome back. Expect a rainy Friday with clear skies going into the weekend, with temperatures ranging from the high 70s to the lows in the 40s. Today is National Gingerbread Man Day. Do you guys like gingerbread? No. Not really. What? <laughs> okay, well, do you guys like any Christmassy desserts? Seafood. Huh? Seafood is my favorite Christmas dessert. Seafood for Christmas? I mean, not dessert. <laughs> Christmas meal. <laughs> First of all, you eat seafood for Christmas? What I have else are you supposed never to eat? known anybody eat seafood for Christmas. What do you honest. eat? I mean, cookies, regular food, not seafood. So for eat. dinner, you eat cookies, like on Christmas Day? All right, now you just, I just feel like I'm being tricked at this point. <laughs> what about you? I mean, my mom makes different stuff every year, so, I mean, last year we had deep dish pizza, so. 
see deep dishes. That's what I eat for Christmas, not seafood. But seafood is good, don't get me wrong. Me and my family tear up some seafood on Christmas. Well, <laughs> thank you guys so much. Y'all think about what y'all like for Christmas. Um, and thank you guys for watching. I'm Ja'Kayla. I'm Ronald Savage Jr. And I'm Faith Heron. And we'll see you guys next time.